इसमें लाहिर हमारे रही वेलकम टू द डार एजुकेशन प्रोजेक्ट वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज़ फॉर द जावा विंडो बिल्डर इन स्विंग एंड इन दिस सेक्शन वी आर गोइंग टू कनेक्ट अवर जे कॉम्बो बॉक्स विद द डाटा बेस एंड फर्दर वी विल यूज दिस टू डिलीट द द रो फ्राम द डाटा बेस सो जस्ट गो एंड स्टार्ट अवर प्रोजेक्ट एंड हेयर आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू एड अ न्यू जे फ्रेम एंड जस्ट क्रिएट अ न्यू J frame for new and other, and then select the J frame here. And name it, delete, student, something like this, and finish it. Okay. So first of all, we are going to open the design here. Okay. Now we will create some GUI for this uh, frame. and first of all we are going to add a j menu because uh, it's necessary to add the menu before adding any kind of uh, layouts for this we are going to add j menu here and uh, i am adding a uh, some menu here and write it something like this new and we will add this j menu after that now we are going to add a layout and it's a absolute layout and just click on it <coughs> and place it here after that i'm going to add some j label and it is here and the sort cool management system okay now we need to add some fonts and uh, it will be arial to use bold and add heading i thought it's 28 now right click on it and uh, make it uh, auto size okay now i am adding a j label here and uh, write it the student roll number make it auto size component and now we are going to add a j combo box here and for this thing we need to insert j combo box and click it here okay and name this j combo box j combo box student id and now we add a button here and name it delete student okay this is the basic gui uh, for our program and uh, now you can see that no data was displayed here and we are just going to add it so let's go and check it out the look of your program and now it's obvious that is working now we are going to add some important files here so just uh, just go into the source one and since we need to import the uh, java database uh, values from the database so we need to import a class java dot sql here and after that we need to import uh, another package and uh, that was java swing in port java x dot swing this package and since we created this uh, 
class in the last program and name it the database connection we are going to create the instance of variable for this thing and we use connection con and make it null and uh, after that where this function start here we need to create the instance create the instance of the connection so we need con is equal to database connection dot and we get a data connection we make this program in the last video so if you did not watch that videos then kindly go and watch that very well so we are now creating a method uh, and name it something like this creating a method create a method to display the values in the combo box for this thing we need a public void fill combo okay now we the fill uh, combo whatever you name display values in combo so we create a method here and now first of all we need to create a sql command here and that was select static from uh, student table and uh, this is the student table that we already created in the last uh, sessions and you can see that this is the student table and this is the values of our uh, data student table now we need uh, to add a prepare statement create uh, the prepare statement prepared statement and for prepared statement we use a statement is equal to this is this was the same as we are creating in the student uh, inform uh, student information same one and now we use the prepared statement and uh, it was con dot prepare statement and in this prepare statement we will pass the sql command here after that okay i thought Uh, gone so we make it uh, this method just after that okay. Okay. dot prepare statement and we use which command is there con dot prepare this was a string prepare statement sql something wrong prepare statement and the passing is the sql Okay, now we check what is the error. Unhandled. Oh, sorry. I am missing the try catch block here. So first of all, we need to uh, surround this with the try. I'll try and then catch is here. And it was exception handling. It must be provided. So uh, we need to exception. Exception here. try catch this is the right on right keywords here okay uh, after catch we need to open j option pan dot show message dialog and in this we will provide the ex for the uh, for the exception message 
okay and now uh, we need uh, to execute this uh, uh, statement and for this purpose we are going to execute the statement to run this query same uh, same work was done okay for this thing we need a result set a result set and i will name it result is equal to uh, statement prepare statement dot executes to execute query and remember that we want a result set <laughs> okay now the result was saved in the result set sorry it was result set not stat so missing spelling now now we will uh, get the values from the database using the while loop so we start a while loop and use a result dot and next next one uh, this will return the values one by one and after that this thing we need to know the j combo box is globally is globally uh, defined or not so j combo box was not defined globally so we go to the data here and here is the j combo box and i am just copy this and remove this j combo box because all we can only uh, initialize uh, once in the program so we are just adding here and private j combo box student id and now we can use this j combo box id this this is the name and here i will just copy this so since it was defined outside the classes uh, and so this will be globally uh, globally uh, achievable so we need to add the item here and it was the object and we place the result here result dot get string and uh, and here we will give the column index and uh, what is the column index we are just know that it was the s name i'm just picking it so it's welcome i was deleting this uh, duplicate and delete it okay so i'm just uh, going to uh, find the name first and then we will go to the other things and i am just giving the name of the s name here okay uh, now we will uh, call this method in in the main frame control c and i am just adding this here so when uh, my project was launched uh, it will show the values here okay now you can see that it will display all the names from the database very well so but we need to uh, either we need to delete the values from the uh, name or role number since we use the uh, role number as a uh, primary key so we use to display here the id of the uh, id of the column uh, of the primary key so i'm just using it id here and now it will show all the kind of role numbers here it will one two four five and since uh, in this uh, session we have done this in the next tutorial we are going to know how to delete the students uh, with the roll number thank you very much for watching this tutorial please subscribe our channel for further details and videos Allah Hafiz